Hello and welcome to VR Reviews. Today we'll be reviewing the Disney Adventures 12 inch Captain Hook. So, yes, here we have another one of the 12 inch Disney Adventures figures, and this is uh, one of my favorites as well. Um, him and Tarzan are definitely in the top two. Uh, he just has a really nice amount of detail on him. Plus, he's the only villain that was made in this series. Damn you for not making Jafar! But, either way, he is uh, really nicely sculpted and he is. Very cool. So let's go ahead and zoom in with the articulation, sculpt paint details, all those sorts of things. Alright, starting with a quick size comparison. Of course, here we have Hook. Here is our standard Marvel Legends 6 inch superior Spider Man and 3 and 3 quarter inch Marvel Universe Wolverine. As I said, Hook is 12 inches tall, so he is far taller than these other two figures. He fits in scale with other figures in this line and may fit in scale with 1 6 scale esque sort of things. Now, let's get the other two out of here and just look at Captain Hook. All right, moving on our 360 spin. Here you can see Hook. Um, as it may be obvious, he's not especially good at standing up. His jacket makes him very unbalanced, so he's kind of on the stand right now. Either way, his jacket is uh, the most visible part, and it has lots of nice little sculpted sort of designs in it. They're just sort of line work designs. They're not anything in particular, but they look really nice. He has then flared out uh, little cuffs there, um, which have little gold buttons on them, and then the little white ruffles underneath that. He has a... Uh, a chest strap there with his scabbard for his rapier there. He has a big sort of neck ruffle thing. I don't know what those are called. I guess it's like an ascot up there around his neck. He has on some purple pants and white stockings underneath those and uh, big nicely sculpted black shoes with gold buckles on them. Uh, overall, very nice detail and uh, very accurate to Captain Hook. Like I said, I believe he has the best detail work out of all the figures in this line. Now let's go ahead and zoom in on his head sculpt. Zooming in on the head sculpt, I think Captain Hook actually has one of the best head sculpts in this series. It's very good at capturing the character. Very sort of Disney-esque evil smile there. He's got his mustache and his angled eyebrows. He's got his weird sort of poofy um, old style haircut. Um, slight five o'clock shadow there. Um, all very good, very representative of Captain Hook's facial features, so I certainly approve of that. Now, let's go ahead and zoom out and look at some articulation. Alright, articulation-wise, Captain Hook's basically the same as the rest of the series. He's got a ball peg head, so that goes up and down, side to side. Hair gets in the way of the bit. All joint shoulders, those go in and out, forward and back. They don't move a lot. Um, his arms are kind of restricted. His elbow has a single hinge that doesn't move very well. He has a hinge and rotation in this wrist. And then his hook rotates on this side. Um, this little scabbard rotates, but it doesn't stay in any one place. Waist cut, ball joint hips in and out, forward and back at an angle. Hinge, knee, hinge, ankle. So that all works to a certain extent. You can get him into a couple of different poses, but nothing spectacular. Now let's go ahead and take a look at Hook's accessories. Accessories-wise, Captain Hook comes with three. He has his big purple hat with the feather. It is molded to fit right on his head, and it will stay there. And it is sort of a softish rubber, but it's pretty heavy as well. Um, they must have skipped out on some money here with the um, with the rapier, because it is just solid gold, flimsy kind of plastic. I don't know why they didn't paint the blade, but whatever. He can hold that, or he can hold his dagger, which is painted fairly well, and has some nice sculpting on the handle there. So, that's all very cool. Now that wraps it up for Hook and all of his accessories, so let's move on to the packaging. Packaging-wise, Captain Hook comes in the standard for this series. Big window here. Um, sort of a Skull and Crossbones logo there on the window. It's embedded in there, so that's kind of cool. Fully posable Captain Hook Disney Adventure logo down there at the bottom, as well as a picture of Hook. On the back, you get the Disney Adventures logo, a little sort of description that's the same on all the boxes, as well as pictures of all the characters involved. Tarzan, Pan... Hercules, Aladdin, and Captain Hook. I'll be reviewing all of those, and now you've seen Captain Hook, and I've already reviewed Tarzan. As always, these are good for in or out of package display, so yeah, Captain Hook. Alright, that wraps it up for Hook, so until next time, goodbye! Hello, you've just watched one of my videos. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed my videos. If you didn't, run away. Run away and never return. Also, feel free to check out my other channels, Venom Raptor, for all my variety gaming content, and VR Reviews, for reviews of various action figures and collectibles. Thank you, and goodbye.